Hey everyone, welcome to my accordion style pocket paper pad mini album. Today I'm going to be showing you how I've used a 6x8 paper pad, but you can definitely use a 6x6 pad as well. Um, I picked up a few different patterns, um, different styles from Tuesday morning for $2.99, which is a great deal on those. So I'm going to be using those for future mini books. Today I'm going to be using the Illustrated Faith. This is an older Christmas line that they had out a couple of years ago. And there you can see it's a 6x8 paper pad. And from that pad, I have already selected eight different prints and pulled those from that. Now these pages are prepared, so I'll show you what those look like. And also a sheet for the cover. So I'm going to set that aside, then I'm going to show you how I have put this together. Okay, I've placed my six by eight paper onto my scoreboard and I've scored at five and a half. And then turning the paper 90 degrees, I'm scoring in the middle at three. So you have a three inch score mark going vertically and then coming down to five and a half and scoring there. And I'm gonna fold in half vertically first. And then I'm gonna show you how to make that pocket and then folding that up. This just kind of helps me to see exactly where I need to make my cut. So just using a pair of scissors. And if you're right-handed like I am, I like to make uh, put the, the fold going right, facing, facing my right hand. And then just make a small diagonal cut, any size you'd like, from the bottom up to that five and a half inch score line there, the horizontal score line. And then just cut that away and just throw that away. It's not going to need that for anything else. And there you see a little V when you open it up. That makes it even on both sides. You don't have to worry about measuring that part out. This allows you to be able to fold the pocket up without having any kind of gap um, there in the middle. Okay, the next thing I'm doing is trimming this 8.5, 11 cardstock down to five and a half by 11 and I would be using both of those for the accordion part and for the gussets so that smaller strip that we just cut away take that and we're going to be trimming it into half inch strips so here we go Okay, now that you have all of your half inch strips cut, you will want to fold 16 of those in half lengthwise. And then here I'm showing you how I'm adding the folded strip to the edge of the pocket. So I'm just using a bit of liquid glue. This is barely art glue and I love it. It's barely dot art if you want to look at that online. So just apply that strip with the gusset crease facing the outside of the page. And then just repeat that for the other side of the pocket. Now I'm just applying a dab of glue to the top part of that gusset fold and then just attaching, taking that to attach that pocket flap to the actual page of the um, that you're working with there. 
and just press down firmly. It dries really quick. Just press down firmly until it kind of seals off there. And then I'm going to flip this around and show you how quickly that's already secured the sides. And there you have your two pockets on either side. Again, you can, you can vary the lengths if you want your pockets not quite as tall or make them shorter or however you want to do that. You can definitely modify the size. And then I'm just finishing off the edges with a quarter inch corner rounding punch there. And so there we have each of the pockets. Okay, next I'm taking that five and a half inch strip of cardstock that we made from our first cut and placing that on my scoreboard. And I'm gonna begin scoring at every quarter inch. So we're gonna score at every quarter inch increment and just follow along the paper there. You're not gonna to need to score the entire length of the paper. Um, I usually just move to towards the end of that um, scoreboard and I'm using the mini scoreboard here. So if you score just to the edge of that, that should be plenty. You may wanna make it just a couple of scores longer than that just to make sure you have enough. Okay, now here is my very favorite part. Not really, but we have to fold up all of these score lines in an accordion fashion. Just make sure you get them nice and straight. Um, so as you move along there, just use a bone folder to really make your creases really nice and smooth. And you will move along the entire length of the paper. Okay, I just wanted to show you real quick what this is going to look like before we get too much further into the scoring here. Our first flap, that is what's going to actually attach to our cover. And then you're going to skip one little indention section there and then that next, the next two folds is where your pocket page is going to sit down into. So I just kind of wanted to show you what that's going to look like. So that's how it looks. And then just glue that in place. And then here I have already added just a few of the pages. So this is how it is. You can see how I've left the, um, the crease that goes down the valley. You can see how I've left that, skipped that part, and then gone to the next little groove to place the pocket pages into. So you'll skip and then you'll place it in between two and you'll skip and you'll place it in between two of those. So that's kind of how that process looks. And I'm gonna show you here how to attach our next page. And so you'll see that I have skipped, you'll skip that valley and go to the next groove. And I'm just placing glue along those two quarter inch strips there. And then your pocket page will just sit right down into that groove. Okay. So just like that, just place it as far down into that crease as you can get it. And then just fold up those two sides around the, the edge of the, um, the pocket page. It just kind of wraps around it and attaches to it. And then just really make it make sure it's nice and secured. 
allow that to dry. But then again, you can see how that looks. And then we'll just continue adding the rest of the pages. Okay, now that we have all of the eight pages added to the um, white cardstock strip, I'm going to trim away the excess paper. I'm going to leave a ridge and a valley. So you're going to leave two sections of quarter inch pieces there. You'll notice there you have a, a ridge and a valley. So that last little part there, that little piece that sticks up, that is what will attach to the back cover page. So just make sure you don't trim away too much. Okay, now moving on to the cover construction, I'm just taking a piece of heavyweight Nina cardstock and trimming it down to the same size as the cover paper, so six by eight. I'll just trim that up. This is a very heavyweight cardstock. This is what I use for my card bases, so I believe it is the 110 pound paper. And so you just trim that up, and then we're just going to make some scores and attach that cover paper to the cardstock paper. Okay, now I'm just gonna make some score lines into my cover paper. I'm gonna score it three and a quarter. This just makes the cover just slightly larger than the actual papers that are inside the book. And then just flip that around and score again at three and a quarter. Then that middle section is where your accordion part of your book is gonna sit. So after you have those scored lines there, you can just fold along the creases. And then we're going to repeat the process with our white cardstock. Next I'm adding an elastic cording um, through the middle of the book that will act as a closure strap for the album. 
So I'm just using an eyelet setter to make a small hole in the center of the spine. You can use a long reach punch. If you don't have that, you can use a paper piercing tool. And then next I'm just using a 20 millimeter cording and just threading that through the hole, making a loop and then just threading that in through the hole. And then I'm gonna determine how long to make the loop. The loop should be pulled, when it's pulled down, should touch the bottom of the book. So see it's touching the bottom. So now I know that that's how long I want it to be. So I'll just come back inside and knot that off and then trim away the rest of the elastic. In hindsight, I should have done this step first before making the first hole into the cover, but I'm going back here and making a hole in the center of the accordion piece. This is between all of the pages in the very center and making that hole so that I can go back and thread that loop back through the, um, the this part of the accordion and then back through the cover. Okay, as you can see here, we're attaching the accordion part, those flaps, to the cover of the book. I'm using a quarter inch high tech adhesive and applying it to that strip and then taking that flap and attaching it to the cover. You're attaching the flap to the cover, matching up crease for crease there and it will fit nice and neatly. So you just repeat that for both the front and the back of the accordion flaps. And once it's closed up, that's how it looks. And then we're adding one extra step to this. You will need a paper piercing tool, a fairly large needle, some type of twine, whether it's Baker's twine. I'm using just a really thin cotton thread a crochet thread for um, for this part. This just we're going to kind of stitch the pe the pages down so they don't pop up as you move through your book. So that will be the next process here. Okay, now that you've seen how that first center stitching worked, I went ahead and stitched down the back section. And so what I did is I just went in and stitched in between another half the back section of pages and stitched in between those. 
So you see how well that lays down? It's all nice and flat. And so I'm moving to the front and I'm gonna repeat that process one more time. 